This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now at Circle K Dahl, and behind me here you see Cupra Born. Yes, this is the Poolman's ID3. It's, um, well, I will show you. You remember ID3? This looks just like ID3. Look at the shape of the car. Look at the rear spoiler here. Look at even this part here. And the back, it's more or less the same as the ID3, except for that. Hmm. Interesting. I was like, ooh. Look at this. Is this carbon fiber? There's a there's an opening here. But the camera is not hidden under there. The back of the camera is here. Wait, but there seems to be a, a nozzle for it. Ooh, I have to test that. But you see, looks like an ID3, drives like an ID3, feels like an ID3, except for that the interior is not like ID3. Hmm, so if you don't like the ID3 interior, but you like the ID3 uh, car, maybe you can get the Cupra Born instead. <laughs> it's also supposed to be cheaper. And also look here in the center console. Huh? Isn't that nice? So we have some storage here and stuff. So, all right, anyway, this video is about uh, range. I will do the, the interior view some other day. Wait, 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 is this, is this carbon fiber? Has a texture. Oh, okay, okay. So anyway, the plan is that I'm gonna drive to the north. Wait, see, I have to do this. See, we also have the ID3 look and feel on the user interface here. I'm gonna drive all the way to the north to, uh, uh, what's it called again, Rutshögda and back again. It's supposed to be 182 kilometers. And I will do the high speed test first and then the low speed test, but I don't need to measure the battery because I already know the battery. This is the exact same battery as the, the 6258 kilowatt hour uh, and it's supposed to have 56 kilowatt and net capacity, actual uh, usable capacity. So what I'm gonna do now is, no, no, not this one. I'm getting familiar with this one. Uh, let me see. Uh, how to go here, I guess. Yeah, I can go, I can go here, double click here. So I need to reset everything. What is important is that uh, the car doesn't show decimal. I was saying the wrong thing. It's not fraction, it's a decimal. Fraction is something different, but here it doesn't show decimal. So what I want to do is, well, I can reset this one maybe. Well, actually, yeah, I can reset after I start driving, but what is important is you have to go here, distance coverage, and then you reset the distance here. We're gonna see now, we're gonna do the 120 test all the way to the north and back again and see what distance we get. And then we do the 90 test and see what happens. But okay. And then I use EV Notify. It supports ID3, but also Cooper Born. It's basically the same car. So we have some status here. You see, we're taking 50, no, we're taking 30 kilowatt. We have 85% battery. The battery is at 25 degrees Celsius. Not too hot, not too cold. So anyway, I think we are good to go now. We are on the moon now in the Cupra Born. Ho, ho, ho. Get the motor running. Heading for the highway. Looking for adventures. And whatever comes away. Oh, shit. There is a reason why I make videos and I don't sing. <laughs> hey, how is Mjösen today? Okay, we have headwind. All right. How's the temperature over here? Two degrees Celsius over here. Okay, it's colder. Got some headwind. Consumption is 290, no, 239 watt hour per kilometer. All right, all right. As expected. When, where are you guys going? Hey, you're going the wrong way. Ukraine is south, not north. Shit. Wow, look at this weather and the landscape. I get the spirit that um, Easter is coming soon. But it's about in one month. But uh, yeah, finally winter is leaving and summer is coming. So brace yourself for sleepless night. We are back at Ayonte. So the distance reported by the car is 182.3 kilometers. That is spot on. This car is measuring distance uh, correctly. And then consumption is 231. Okay, I'm gonna write down all this. And now we just have to charge. And let's see now. Uh, we can go here and we can go. No, wait. Uh, she. How's this going? Uh, I think I have to go to the car and then e manager. 
and you see that we are charging at eight kilometers per minute <laughs> no but uh you can look here on the charter screen here that we are charging at 104 kilo 105 kilowatt okay okay it's slightly cold gating it should be 120. so now we wait and then we do the 90 test we are on the moon now so uh one weird feature with this car is that you see in order to uh increase or decrease uh, cruise control speed you have to swipe but it's it's like touch touch haptic touch feedback thing and then you swipe it up to go 10 up and then swipe it down to go uh, 10 down but i haven't found how the heck we're supposed to increase by just one so what i have to do is wait 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 there 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 93 <laughs> what the heck and i haven't read the manual because grown-up men doesn't read the manual all right front axle whoa 940 oh she wow all right We have been driving for a while now, getting close to Hamar, and the consumption is 172 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh, okay. So not as efficient as Model 3, which was doing around 140 watt hour per kilometer. But now we, on, we have head, we have tailwind now on the head way back, so hopefully this consumption will improve once we are back at the starting point. So air conditioning is an eco mode. I can show you that we have uh, only on the driver's side active the passenger side is completely off so it's equivalent to uh, uh, driver only in the korean cars and not to say the car doesn't have any annoying reflective uh, surfaces it's pleasant to drive the interior is pleasant to look at pleasant to feel and no reflective stuff so bravo Cars nowadays, they have too much piano finish and too much chrome inside the car. What the heck is the point of that, right? But over here, this is like, it was born for it. And this car has a standard speakers, so no fancy beats by Dr. Dre or anything. So, uh, alright, let's see now what it sounds like. One thing I noticed was that the bass has this weird humming or vibration or resonance so I can feel at the door let me, let me swipe down there to turn on so the door vibrates when we have something going on and it creates this unpleasant uh, resonance unwanted uh, noise actually so uh, not very good and I have to say the sound is not natural it has also some weird um, it has some distortion uh, not sure how much but I can feel that there's not it's not clear and natural like the high-end systems but again what do you expect right this is the poor man's ID3 but when I play techno though it sounds okay yeah yeah you see then you don't hear the imperfection so I think the sound system here uh, is more towards the younger people or people who like to listen to techno maybe we are back at Ayonte here we have the born identity <laughs> it's a nice looking car I'm gonna show you something so we have Nokian Hakaplita R3 what we're gonna see yeah here we go. Hakaplita R3 and if you look closely here let me see if I can zoom in here you will see that it says made in Finland so there are some tires that are made in Russia but at least these one are made in Finland so uh, yeah at least these tires are politically correct. 
when it comes to charging though. So, um, see here. Remember the ABC, always be cold gating. Well, well, well. German engineering for the win. You see here. The problem is that this car cold gates, the battery is cold. Okay, it's trying to heat it up now. Okay, okay, inlet is uh, getting hot. But it's gonna take a while before we reach some decent speeds here. So, yeah, the Koreans are laughing right now. <laughs> and the consumption for this run was 167 watt hour per kilometer. And also, uh, we measured 182.4 kilometers. So it was slightly more than the previous run and the high speed test. But remember that we did take that small detour to uh, visit the scale. But I don't think that counted 100 meter extra. And actually, I think the, the trip meter was about to hit 182.5. But I really believe that the difference is because we are driving slower now, and then the temperature and the tires are lower, and that means that the tire pressure is slightly lower, and that could be the reason why the, the meter is slightly different this time. So, but that, because I did drive the exact same route except for the scale route, that's it. You just want to see if there was any difference there. But okay, and when it comes to consumption, then, so it was again 167 watt hour per kilometer. I have plenty of measurements here with extreme cold weather and also summer temperature. But the closest one is probably, uh, it was an ID3 in, I think it was in during fall but that was the 82 kilowatt hour which is slightly heavier but you see that the consumption is uh, kind of close to this one so uh, can we conclude anything that uh, this Cooper Born is more efficient than the ID3 or not I'm not sure it should be very similar right so um, yes other than that um, I don't know man I, it's when I'm driving this car I feel like almost like I'm driving the ID3 except for one thing which is that the ID3 has that adjustable uh, uh, armrest here in the middle, two of them, remember, I love it. This one doesn't have it, it just have one armrest here that can be pushed forward, that's it. So, I'm not a big fan of that. Other than that, I like the interior. I think this is just a matter of taste. So maybe some of you guys who don't like the ID3, you see this thing and you're like, ooh, you like the Born better, huh? All right, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.